All right, here's a nice one. Yeah, no, this is good. Yeah. Um. All right, you guys give this one a try, and I'll, I'll tell you guys what, what I find from this, all right? All right, here's the thing, and thank you, Wendy. No, you're correct. Is, uh, remember what I said? If you guys see a bunch of garbage like this, it's a trick, all right? Um, the point on this is to get you guys to quit before you start. Two steps and you're done on this one, all right? Um, <laughs> I apologize. Um, for some reason, it makes us math people feel better in our heart if we can get you to quit on this, all right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add 17 to both sides. Plus uh, 17. Sorry, that's just the way we are. I got negative 5 plus an absolute value of a bunch of garbage in this. This equals 15 right now. Now when I divide both sides by negative 5, I have an absolute value that equals a negative 3. Nope. Never. You'll never get a negative out of an absolute value. So, yeah, on a test, if you had shown this much, I mean, I, I don't really care if you even write all that garbage in between because I'm too lazy to write it myself. Um, if you just wrote this and then just wrote no solution, which maybe is more writing, I don't know. No, am I spelling that right? I think I'm good. No solutions, we're in good shape. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I just talked to I mean... <laughs> Here's another nice thing is once we trick you guys with this stuff, then maybe eventually we'll make that a positive five. And then you can do it. And you can have so much fun. Question, so we have to add that 17 to both sides. It's kind of like an equation, right? We got a negative 5x minus 17 equals negative 2. To solve this equation, you would add 17 to both sides first to solve 4x. Um... Well, it's the same way, it's just the x in this case is this horrible absolute value, which we hate, but in the end we ended up loving.